Hello again, friends. Oh, my pants are riding down. That's no good. I'm not loving it. Red Bull. Yeah. Look at an R1 back there. out for a bit of a cruise because it's fucking gorgeous out and it's tired of wasting away in the apartment so I figured figured I'd spend some time with you guys kind of get out of the house a little bit it's very nice so yesterday marks a, a bit of a first for me um, my friend Scott and his longtime partner John finally got married as uh, the U.S. recently legalized gay marriage. And that was a, kind of an amazing ceremony to go to. It was really neat. I'm super excited for them. So I thought that was cool. Um, got to see a bunch of people I lost touch with for quite a while. And they all seem to be doing pretty good. A lot of them are married and or having kids, and it's like love is in the air. Which, and also through social media, I recently found out that that uh, my very first uh, serious girlfriend of all time is um, also getting married. I mean, it's been easily 15 years I think since since our chapter had closed and um, yeah dude that I'm super excited for her like I don't know how I would feel about this day you know your first everything like first kiss first love first all kinds of crazy um, I don't know how I'd feel about that because that's something that's always going to be a part of me no matter what you know but, um, yeah, but I'm super stoked uh, for her because that's, that's something she's always really wanted. And um, I really hope the guy is, um, I hope the guy's the bee's knees. I, I hope he's fucking badass because she deserves the best, you know? Like, it's one of those relationship situations or ex-relationship situations where I feel very confident that, like, uh... I, w I wish the best for her and that, you know, there's no, like, ill will toward one another, none of that. Um, <laughs> of course, I don't know how she feels about me and shit, but, uh, yeah, it's just weird. I don't know if any, if that situation's happened to anybody, anybody else out there where you're just, like, you just sort of suddenly find out, you know, because this has always been sort of awkward around, uh, around this one, you know, because she was that first everything to me, so... You know, it makes me do strange things like walk in the middle of an intersection, probably. Power walking with, like, some fucking paper bag full of vegetables in sandals. That's probably what that does. Stupid people. <laughs> no, nah, but for real, um... Does that ever happen to you guys? Am I, like, the only one here that's... That's, like, you know finds out about it, and, I mean, my gut reaction, my first gut reaction was just like, that's really cool, do you know what I mean, it's like, I haven't seen you in a long time, and, I don't know, there's, <laughs> everything was very extreme with her and I, it was very electric, like, all the time, when, when we were, we were good, we were unbelievably good, when we were bad, when times were not so good, uh, they were unbelievably bad, so, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's just hard to reflect on those times when, uh, with any kind of lament, because so much has happened since then, you know what I mean, and, and I feel like I'm a completely different human being now than I was way back then, you know what I mean, but, uh, I wish her the best. Um, who else do I know? Uh, I totally forgot. Uh, at this wedding, I ran into, uh, I ran into my old roommate. 
um, and her boyfriend, husband, now father of her child, they're doing fucking great, and that's awesome to see, because, like, uh, those two had, like, basically just started, uh, dating back when her and I were, like, roommates, and, uh, I was seeing this other gal, and, um, she's always been cool, like, uh, I've been friends with, with Abby for quite a long time, and, I mean, we're not, like, super tight now, just because two different people and shit, but I didn't even realize that it had been a year since she had a, a child, so it's kind of always interesting to connect, um, and I should, it just, it's, it's an illustration of how fucking poorly I stay in touch with people, I guess, you know, and especially people you live in the same city with, because in the back of your mind, if, if you do ever think about them or whatever, you're just like, you know, yeah, but they're just right up the road, you just kind of take that shit for granted, I feel like, so, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but since the, the wedding yesterday, I figured, you know, if love is in the air, we'll just straight talk about that, so, congratulations to, to my buddies Scott and John, uh, I think that's fucking cool, um, I think it's great that that uh, you guys can make that, that next step in committing toward one another, because they've been together for quite a while, and, um, and I think that's badass, and uh, congratulations to, to my first girlfriend and her getting engaged to this guy, I hope he's wonderful, and I hope you guys do really well together, and um, yeah, that's, that's pretty BA, it's fucking awesome of that love, yo. Oh, that love, though. Look at this dude over here. He's wearing a beanie, and it's like fucking 90 degrees out. Full hood and all that. You know what's going through his mind right now? He's thinking to himself, yeah. That's what he's thinking. The other guy's like, I don't know about this hood and shit, but we look fucking badass. Yeah. So... Apparently they're loving it. Gotta love that style though. That style though. It's so hot. Yeah. So I've got a. Oh. Oh, that's B triple and BMW though. I've got a. I gotta quit talking about love while riding on this bike because I think she's getting excited. That's okay. I'll take you down to the beach, show you a good time. It'll be great. <laughs> love. Everyone's in love. It's great. It's good to see these guys, though, all growing up and shit, getting all married and whatnot. I'm super excited. I'm excited that they're excited. I kind of want to do, I kind of want to do a walk around in a bike shoot, and I almost feel like right there would be an ideal spot to get some, some steel photos. The city in the background and whatnot, what have you. Oh, this fucking hill is like straight down and shit. There's a lot of gravel here. I'm not not impressed with that right away. Beautiful day out though. It's a beautiful day for love. Everyone's doing it. Getting married. Talking about their kids and shit. What is this person doing? And why the fuck are you stopping? Are you coming or going, bruh? Really? Nice. 
got to fucking, we got to figure this shit out real quick. Yeah, Seattle, on a nice day. This is the type of Seattle none of us will show you because <laughs> we just want you to think it's all fucking rainy and shit all the time. <laughs> You're like, nope, it sucks here. You guys should should chill out. Just stay stay wherever you're staying. I fucking... I don't think that's possible, though, because every single person I've met here, save for, like, a handful, are, um... None of them are native Seattle... Seattle folks. They all are fucking transplants. You know what would be freaking cool as shit? If I could make a lift here... I think that would be cool as shit. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I don't think anybody's going to let me go. No. They're not. This is ridiculous. I'll be here for like an hour. Hurry, dude. I got a space. Yeah. Love. Everyone's got love. Is there someone or something that you have love for that you would like to share by commenting below? Commenting way deep down low? Yeah. Just saying. You're welcome to do that. I love tooling around on a bike with a video camera. I love all of you guys that watch this. Thanks for hanging out. Let me be a part of your day. Because you're why I do it. Insert smiley face here. Or maybe over there. Until next time, friends. I'm going to call it a day on this love episode. Like that. Hello. Playtime is over. Say what? Over. Say what? I got no time to play no games with you. Playtime is over. Over. I got no time to play no games with you.